<laughs> Welcome back into North Dakota today. Well, a local author has made waves with her new book, The Clean Daughter. Called Brilliant and Deeply Moving, this book was recently awarded the Great Weed Reads Book of 2024 by the Library of Congress. And the book's author, Jill, is joining us on the couch to share all about the book. Good morning. Good morning. Sophia. Well, I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. It's, yeah. it's a privilege. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Well, I have the book right here. I was flipping through it during the commercial break. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's about? Yes, um, the title is The Clean Daughter. So I married a man from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And if you take the Dutch language, um, the word for daughter-in-law translates literally clean daughter. Oh, wow. So the book circles around me and my relationship with my father-in-law. So it's about being family, about mm -hmm. being a daughter-in-law. and. How do you make family work when family lives thousands of miles apart yeah. and speaks different languages and comes from different cultural backgrounds? Yeah, it certainly is very interesting. And the book is beautiful. We were just Thank talking you. about that. Thank the design you. is stunning. It was um, published here in Fargo. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of people don't know that there's a press in Fargo. Yeah. But it was published by NDSU Press, which um, in the coming year is celebrating its 75th anniversary. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, and they publish memoir, fiction, nonfiction, mm -hmm. poetry, all kinds of stuff. I worked with the brilliant Dr. Suzanne Kelly yeah. and just really thrilled with the book and the, the end product is um, gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the process of writing this book. Um, it was a book I didn't want to write. Sometimes yeah. stories come to you that you don't expect. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in North Dakota and I never expected I'd marry a man from a different country. Yep. I never expected to have in-laws who spoke a different language. Mm -hmm. So my father-in-law was a very strict, proper man mm -hmm. and we didn't get along exceedingly well, yep. you know. <laughs> so. Um, I began to research his life and I think I was searching for a sort of commonality, a humanity in mm -hmm. him. And I um, researched and went to Holland to learn about World War II because he grew up in Nazi occupied Holland. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then um, I continued researching his life and when he um, chose to die, mm -hmm. he chose euthanasia, which is legal in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And it was really devastating for our family and we yeah. didn't understand the process. So I also researched euthanasia and trying to understand what he had done. Mm -hmm. So that was the process of writing was um, looking for my own answers, really. Yeah, yeah there are yeah. some heavy topics in this book, huh? There are some heavy topics. There's a lot of joy and yes. funny things also, because when you're married to someone who grew up with a different mother language. I mean, there's obviously mm -hmm. always, <laughs> always things going on. I will always remember one time my husband said to me, Jill, you are so small hearted. <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me. And so I was offended and then he was offended yeah. and then we have to step back and say like, what are you saying? And the Dutch way of saying you're big hearted is to say you're small hearted oh, okay. because what it means is your heart is so small that even the tiniest of things will move it. Oh, I so see. Okay. So there's um, a lot of cultural faux pas in the book yeah. because we lived in Zambia, Indonesia, the UK and the Netherlands and you're always just putting your foot in your mouth. Yeah. So yeah, the book has heavy topics. It has light topics mm -hmm. and I think that's um, a true representation of memoir because our lives are heavy and they're yep. fun and they're happy and it's that combination. Yeah, you know. definitely, just like in life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why would you really recommend folks to get out and grab a copy of this and to read it? Um, I always say that reading memoir does two things for people. Mm -hmm. It teaches you about a life that's very different than your own. Yep. So maybe you would never imagine what it's like to live in Zambia mm -hmm. or to live in the Netherlands. But memoir does this funny thing where it flips and it becomes a mirror. Mm -hmm. So when you read it, you're actually reading about yourself. Yeah. And so if I'm writing about problems I have, you would think, well, how can I relate to a Dutch mm -hmm. marriage, an inter- yep. or cross-cultural marriage? But every marriage has difficulties. Yeah. So maybe you're 
an introvert married to an extrovert, or maybe you're a city girl married mm -hmm. to a country boy. So as you're reading, the memoir flips kind of, and, and you see yourself. Yeah. And I think that's really the beauty of memoir is um, it's writing about what it means to be a human, you know, so people connect to it. And you learn about someone else, mm -hmm. but you also learn about yourself. Well, this is a really special project, and congratulations. Thank it's you. It's a lovely book, yeah. and this is really it, exciting. It will huh? be um, representing North Dakota for one year, yeah. and I'll be going on a small book tour around North Dakota mm -hmm. in the coming year with it. And, I mean, nothing else. Got a cool, yep. cool sticker. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, really so proud of where that. where can folks find your book? Um, currently, you can buy it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can buy everything on Amazon, yep, right? right. <laughs> um, you can buy it directly from NDSU Press, and I sell it on my website. Mm -hmm. So I do sign copies with free shipping at just, it's my name, just jillcondell.com. Well, wonderful. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing your time with us here yeah, this morning. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, everyone at home, stick around because a local organization is raising money for the Roger Maris Cancer Center. We will let you know how you can help after the break.